Hey guys, welcome to Jaywalk Media. This is Matt Miller and watch this brave 14 year old high school girl go to a local government board meeting and tell off all of these woke bureaucrats right to their face. You gotta love it. But before we jump in, I want to ask you guys to please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and let's jump into the video. Time. Reset, 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 reset the time. Reset the time. Reset the time. Gentlemen, reset the time. What's wrong with you people? There's a young lady coming here. Sir, thank you. Don't come at me. Everybody stops. Don't, don't, don't come at me. Don't come at me. Because you, you, you're out of order. Reset her time. Be a gentleman. All you gotta do is reset her time. Reset my time. Well, you guys are digging. Digging a hole. Snowflakes. At the last meeting, I sat in astonishment as Superintendent Roberts tried to gaslight us regarding public comments at these meetings. He told us how important it was that everyone speaking felt listened to by this board, regardless if the board hears things they disagree with. Oh, the hypocrisy, Yay. especially after most of this board walked out while I was addressing you at the August meeting. Then. This board's lawyer, Mr. Collins, tried to set rules regarding the content of people's speeches, but also claimed the idea wasn't to censor people. Newsflash, Mr. Collins, your rules are the very definition of censorship. Apparently, this board is not familiar with the U.S. Constitution, so I've given each of you a copy. Note the First Amendment on page 21, which clearly states there shall be no rules abridging freedom of speech. Additionally, the people have the right to air grievances to the government. If you don't want people to refer to you as groomers and pedophiles, then follow state and federal laws and remove the sexually graphic books from your school libraries. Amen. Appeasing immorality by claiming acceptance and inclusion is not a valid argument. Claiming the book can be obtained online, no, it is a First Amendment right, and you have taken my time, so I reclaim that time back. Let me see. I reclaim my time back. I am going to continue. Not a valid argument. Claiming that removing the contested books is banning them is not a valid argument. There are no valid arguments for violating laws or infringing on constitutional rights. A quote by Wendy J. states, an environment that is not safe to disagree in is not an environment focused on growth. Exactly. It is an environment focused on control. Right. Yeah. Board members, keep in mind that come the next election, parents will have the control. You've been exposed. Amen. Yeah. 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 So we need to see more of this all across the nation, right? Brave young people with the support of the community, by the way. You see everybody in that room has this girl's back. And the only people that seem to have a problem with what she's saying is the woke board members that are sitting there trying to shut her down, trying to... Uh, limit her time and, and shut off her mic. But brave young people like this can have so much power to make a change in their community, especially in schools where we unfortunately see the woke hive mind infesting school libraries, school curriculum. Uh, and I mean, I remember even as far back when I was in high school, this was in the, the 20 teens. And it was just subtle things that would work their way into the curriculum or things that the teacher would say when they're presenting the information from a left-wing point of view, from an anti-capitalist point of view, and from a point of view that's highly critical of America and American history. And it's okay to have different points of view being presented to young people. I, I think, uh, especially high school kids, are critical thinkers. They're able to think for themselves at that age. But you can't just hammer them over the head with the anti-American left-wing point of view. And that's what so many teachers unfortunately are guilty of because, and I don't want to speak for all teachers, there's a lot of good teachers out there, there's even good college professors out there, but so many teachers 
get into that profession to be activist. They're not paid very much. So what they what they do is they have this this view in their head that they're some kind of hero. And if they are good teachers, they can they can be. They can be actually a hero for being a good teacher, for helping young children. But so many of them, I would even say probably a majority of them, want to be activists and they want to shape the minds and the worldview of the next generation. They want to introduce them these ideas. And by doing so, they feel like they're actually getting one over on the capitalist American system that they are against. If you think about it, it's even it's way more effective than even protesting. Rather than being out there on the picket line screaming, uh, you're actually having an effect on what American young people think and how they view the world and what they're going to carry on into college, which is even more of a liberal echo chamber than high school is. Um, and it's full of more academics who are ultra elitist, ultra left wing or very often socialist. And I'm speaking broadly here because I actually I do think the majority do fit this description. And if you look it up too. Google what percentage of college professors in the United States are registered Democrats versus registered Republicans. It's shocking. It's over 90% are registered Democrats. Uh, so you guys can do that research yourself. But And why is that? Is that just by coincidence, are only Democrats smart enough to become college professors? That's probably what they would say. But of course, that's not the case. What's actually going on is the left wing has cultivated a echo chamber or a, or a hive for itself within the walls of American academia and under the radar, you know, uh, parents and kids think they're going to college to have fun and learn stuff and, and get a qualification so they can get a job in the real world. But really what's going on is the academics, the intelligentsia are looking to shape the worldview of American young people right before they go out and make an impact on the world while they're still impressionable while they're still very passionate and, and their mind is still developing, this is the time to reach people and to really have an impact on them. And they know that. So us as conservatives and even parents out there, I'm not a parent yet, but God knows when I am, I am going to be uh, very involved in my kids' education. I'm not going to be passive about it. Passive parenting is should not be a thing anymore. You need to know who is teaching your kids, what are they being taught, and make sure that it's not this radical stuff that's going to lead to all kinds of bad results. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this clip in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Thank you again for your support and I'll see you in the next video.